because I like the aeroplanes. And I went to train for in New Zealand. It was really neat because they showed me how to do all the serving out and shut the doors and that. And I also got a uniform. I've got two uniforms now. I went to see Jeremy at Easter. He's a very close friend of mine and he's very sick. And but I hope he gets better because he's my best friend. He is. We went up in the gondolas. It would probably take for about two days for us to climb up here. See, they've got How high does it go up? Does anybody know? To the top. Look at that, eh? Look. Oh. Oh, you can see all of Christchurch. Oh, holy cow. and started to cry. Pretend that, that I didn't have any glands or just pretend that they're all g gone down and just think that they're all better. But, you know, if you, if you feel pain, it's all right to cry. If you feel sad or anything, because I know how, how you feel, OK? Is it pneumonia that you've got? Has it gone now? Well, that's the main thing, isn't it? They still, still have your mum. But sometimes your mum has to push you. You know that, don't you? The small mum has to push me to keep going. And, and that to keep, keep my drugs to, you know, to keep me taking them and, and to keep me strong. But. Just think that, you know, you'll be always, always to be able to bring me up and just say, say how, how you feel in it. Because you don't have to be ashamed because, you know, I'll, I'll always be here for you. You're, you're, the, you're the closest friend, the AIDS friend that I've got now. Because I've, you know, I, I didn't really, you know, like, I lost three friends close last year and I don't want to lose you because you're so, you know, you're my only friend that I know so well, you know, and you're doing so, you're doing so great and, and the first time I met you were shaking but now you're not, are you? You're a lot more stronger and if we, if we both stand, stand up to this, this virus and say we, we're not scared of you, we can beat the virus, we can be a lot stronger and, and we just think positive, positive, positively and, and think that we haven't got the virus and just live an ordinary life. Just, you have to take the pills. 
you know, and if you, like, if you start being strong like I am and start proving them wrong, like, they actually said positively that I was going to die at the age of five. I've proved them wrong, haven't I? Because I'm 10 now, going on 11. And it's showing them that I'm, that I'm brave. And if you do that, do the same, it might make everyone understand what we, how much pain we go through. But it won't show as much. But you know, it's all right to cry out in public. Because I, I, I used to cry all the time in public because I got so scared. When I was in hospital for those two months and one week, I got really scared because I'd think I was gonna die. But one, one night I actually saw, saw God himself and said, you're not gonna die. And one of these days he's gonna come to you, okay? I'm afraid of dying. Because last year I got told I only had about a few weeks to live because I was so sick. I was scared then, but I don't. now I'm not. Because I had the experience of seeing God because he came and saw me every time I used to die in hospital last year. He would come and see me. What was he like? He was all yellow. His face was all yellow. He had light all around him. He did. Would he say anything? Yeah. He said that I'm not ready to come to him yet. You have to stay down there. How did you know it was God? Because the way that he spoke to me and the face that looked like God's face. And, and it showed pictures of crosses and that. So was it like Jesus? Yeah. When Jesus died on the cross and that... How did you feel? I felt peaceful. Do you yeah. believe that when you die, Jesus will be there? Yeah. He'll be there for me and my mum. Do you pray? Sometimes. Some people think that everybody's life has a purpose. You know, that they have a reason for living. Do you think there's a reason for your life? Yeah, I think so, because I don't. I asked God why he, why he wanted me to live. And I, keep, I, keep, I don't get an answer. I never do. But I think that he wants me to live because I'm helping everyone understand what AIDS is and help everyone. so special to me because she was always there because she helped me through when I was little 
Eu te sou as refumineu. 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 Eu te Like it when mommy gives me massages because they help me relax and when I relax my body it makes my body stronger and they're peaceful too and the music's going and the candles going I think I've been brave because I'm a strong little girl and I don't think about dying and that my mummy helps me be strong too. All the love and care that she gives me. It'll be just because it's not painful dying because my friend Mona died of cancer and he died very peacefully. I wish, I wish it wasn't, it wouldn't happen that I'd be a normal little girl and be healthy. Eve's greatest wish in life was to become an angel. Little did she know that in every aspect of her, she was already an angel. Her courage, her love, her pure healing energy, her joy and creativity, and her unwavering inner strength was always there, and she shared it with all of those around us. Eve always had the hidden agenda of love, and that is what makes a very special angel. Sometimes angels leave this world early so that we can feel what they stand for and stood for in life. For our family, Eve stands for a beautiful, loving, caring and sharing angel who gave so much to us as a family but also individually. Eve, sweetheart, we love you so very much and we know that you will always remain with us. So trust the wings that you have been given you have earned them, sweetheart. We love you so dearly.